What's up guys? <coughs> Bearded here. Fuck it. And welcome to another episode of The Adventures with Bearded Kitty. I'm gonna warn you now, this is gonna be a bit of a talky episode. Um, I'm just kind of gonna be talking over footage. Uh, I won't be talking for that long though, so... Um, because not, not a whole lot happened in November. I mean, uh, in chronological order, beginning of November, not a whole lot happened. Um, I did kind of start having problems with my computer. So most of November I was trying to figure out why my computer was blue screening and after a lot of research and talking with people I finally figured out that um, or I've pinpointed it to uh, an issue with RAM and it's it's giving me when it blue screens it does it when I'm either playing ARC or a hefty game or a game that's not optimized it won't even be just the fact that I am playing it it'll be like I don't know uh, say I'm playing on my own server and um, I don't know, I'm not getting a high level dyno, I can't find one, so I do a dyno wipe. Because of that command and the server has to load and whatever, for some reason that will make it crash. It almost seems to like overload something and then it'll crash. And then the other time is when I am playing and I have Spotify open, I have um, a couple other small programs open for when I stream, and then because I'm streaming I'll have Streamlabs OBS open. and before it would happen in the middle of streaming it would just all of a sudden it would just happen but uh lately it seems to be as soon as i click on the go live button i get that blue screen and it'll say bad pool uh i think it says bad pool caller from what i googled what it tells me it has to do with information being sent to a driver now either the driver is requesting the information and it can't find the information, or it is requesting the information and the information cannot be sent to the driver. So I looked at all my drivers, they are all up to date, there's nothing wrong with them, there are no missing drivers. Um, I checked the BIOS version, it is up to date. And so that leaves me to believe that it is something uh, related to hardware, which is the RAM. And when I get back home, which is going to be a couple days from when I'm recording this, I'm going to test with the sticks of RAM and try to replicate the issue. So basically, um, I'm going to take one stick out, try to replicate the issue with that. If it doesn't happen, then it's not that one. And then I try it with the other one. What might have happened is this summer was really hot. Like I bought these things like maybe, I think we're coming up on three years ago now. And I thought usually RAM lasts like over five years most of the time, but this past summer and I guess maybe even the summer before that, it was fairly hot, uh, especially this past summer. So because it was so hot, my computer probably overheated and I didn't realize. And because of that, it basically sped up the lifetime expect expectancy of the RAM. And once it does that, it's kind of permanent. So. Instead of being five to or even seven years, it's lowered it to, I guess, three. But if I can't replicate the issue by testing the RAM, I don't know what it is. I've, I've, even, I've already reinstalled Windows as well and I'm still getting the issue. I'm gonna try to fix that issue and I'll let you guys know what happens, but so far I'm just kind of baffled by it and it's kind of pissing me off too. So there was the trouble with the PC and then after, I'd say like a couple weeks, so I, I guess we're like halfway into the November now, by this point. I went to my uh, graduation ceremony for college. We had fun at the graduation ceremony. I talked with some uh, old classmates, some old friends, and uh, found out some things about other classmates. A lot of people still weren't uh, working in the, this industry that we went for, which, if you don't know, was uh, video game design and development. Like, we're, we're pretty much all looking at jobs and QA testing and for around here we're not finding much. So yeah after the graduation ceremony we uh, dropped off my grandmother we had to go pick her up which was another like three hour drive past the location. So uh, we brought her back had the ceremony and then my mom was taking her back so we started driving back that same night but of course there was a snowstorm that showed up and it I, I, I'm actually glad that I bugged my dad to put his snow tires on because uh, he kept saying, oh, we'll be fine, we'll be fine, but then finally he just did it. We ended up driving through basically a foot of snow almost the entire way home. 
uh, and we weren't even driving home, we were driving to uh, the city, Halifax, because he had a, a business trip there. So we, were, we drove through a foot of snow the whole way. You could not see the road. You could barely see two car lakes in front of you. Like there, there would be tracks that you could follow, but you couldn't tell if it was on the road, if it was going off the road. We saw a tractor trailer on the opposite side of the highway that jackknifed. There were cops like trying to tell people to go around it. So we, we, we got through that. And then we finally get to the hotel, we relax, uh, I think it was like two or three days went by. Then the, the evening that he was done, we, we started driving back. And of course, it was, there was a bit of precipitation again, but it was like, it was hovering between like one degree and minus one degree. And at one point it actually went to minus two, but there was a bit of a wind chill. So it was, it would, it was, the roads were already wet because it snowed earlier in the day, but then it would rain and then it got cold because it was becoming nighttime and there was a wind chill. So everything froze and it kept raining and it froze even more. So it was just like freezing rain kept adding to it. So for the most part of that drive, we were fishtailing all over the road. Then anyway, so we finally get home and then it was like, uh, I kind of, we kind of slipped at the end of the driveway. I had trouble backing up because it was kind of like the drive, the road's kind of on a hill and you back up into the driveway. And uh, we finally got home and then I spent about a week at my dad's. There was a big windstorm that came through. Holy fuck, I'm gonna die. And then uh, the week after that, I had to come up here and cat sit for my mom. And uh, I had to actually take the cats to the vet. And it was funny because they, uh, they were kind of scared of the vet, but it was like Maya, which is the smaller cat. She's kind of the baby to my mom. They're both sisters, but she gets very, you know, upset because mom's not here. Um, but Daisy is just like, oh, you give me food, you're okay. Like, I just want food kind of thing. But Maya wanted to constantly be in my arms while I was at the vet. And the vet actually like clipped her claws and uh, um, gave her uh, basically the whole checkup in my arms, uh, which I've never really had done before. And then uh, Daisy, she just kept wanting to get back into the cat carrier. So yeah, anyways, I ended up getting covered in cat hair, but uh, I did that, and then I think it was like the day after, there was a bit of a storm on the way, and I thought, oh, it'll be fine. And because nobody was really making that big of a deal about it. Next thing you know, it's windy as hell, it's very slushy, and then it's like, I woke up, and then 8 a.m., bam, power goes out. And I, I was in the call with Foxy overnight, and I noticed my, I'd wake up and I noticed the phone kept disconnecting. I finally figured out in the morning, it was so windy and the power was tripping and then the Wi-Fi would kind of reset and uh, that would kind of end the call. And uh, then 8 a.m. comes around, bam, power goes out. And I'm, I'm lying there like thinking, I just woke up, what the fuck am I gonna do all day? I can't take a shower, I can't heat food. There's not much food that I can eat that without being heated. And I actually ended up reading uh, a book and it's, it's something I haven't done in a long time. Like. Um, and I actually kind of want to keep reading too because it's, you know, the story kind of pulled me in and uh, it's the Artemis Fowl series and they're actually coming out with a movie soon which I hope is as good as the books. The power was out all day, the storm went through, power came back on around 7pm, power was out in town too, they were saying that it was the worst power outage since Hurricane Juan which was uh, way back in like, I, I want to say 2003 but I could be wrong on that year. I'm just gonna wrap this up by saying like I'm almost done cat sitting here and then I'm gonna head home, fix the computer, get back to streaming. Uh, for December and for I guess the new year, I am going to set the goal of reaching my deadline. So like I, I kind of want to do three videos a week, but at the same time, I don't want to promise that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to aim for like, I don't know, maybe two videos a week, because I just need to figure out a rhythm, and then once I figure out the rhythm, I can stick to it and get get things done. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for November. Uh, I will probably have more footage for December because, I mean, there's my birthday, there's Christmas, there's New Year's. There might be a few other small things happening in between. 
I kind of want to try and at least record something once a week for the Adventures of Bearded Kitty, whether it's I'm going for a walk or I'm going to the gym. Um, I just want to talk about what I did for the week. Uh, you know, we'll, I'll, I'll figure something out. But anyways, uh, feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. And as always, guys, bye from Meow. God, I hate this freaking cat.